What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Madden 13 video. Please do me a favor, take a moment, hit the like button as well. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Of course, welcome your criticism of the video in the comment section. Hit this for you at speed and ask you to follow me on Twitter. My username is Shutdown Safety. Looking at a offline CCM, rare appearance of my Colts here, and we're two or three years down the road, so this is also a preseason game. You're going to see a lot of different names and faces. But I want to talk about kind of a preface to a sim football perspective video in terms of foot planning. Because to me, without foot planning respected, which obviously incorporates things like momentum, strength, speed, the physics engine really isn't just going to work. So I want to take a look at this outside run. I want to focus on like I said, a preseason game, so the depth chart is a little weird. I want you to notice LeGarrette Blunt, my fullback there, turning the corner on my tackle. He is going to miss a linebacker block assignment, then do a very quick half spin and try to pursue back down. I thought that was kind of comical. Hillis is able to outrun that linebacker, though. And you can see I turn the corner, and I've got two safeties here that come in, Atari, Bigby, and Stuckey. And I just want you to notice the body language of Peyton Hillis here. As a user, I pretty much succumbed to running out of bounds. I've kind of let off the speed burst, and I'm really just kind of jogging it out. You can see Bigby and Stucky come in and tackle me. I'm stood up, and I realize, yes, Hillis is a much stronger physical player than both of these safeties, but also I've got two of them coming toward me, so certainly they should be able to tackle me. My momentum is completely stopped here. I like the fact that his legs kind of keep churning, but then he's able to do a weird spin, fall down in the field of play, and then have a defensive lineman come and trip over him and fall down. The problem I have here is from any angle you look at this, there's no real way that physics got respected in terms of momentum and speed of two players running full speed at another player. You can almost tell as soon as these players engage in contact, watch Bigby's body. It basically just falls limp. And you can see Stucky kind of just does the same thing. At this point, the only player who really has strength here is Peyton Hillis. And that's not the way it should be. It should be the exact opposite. The two safeties that come in to make the tackle should have all the force and momentum traveling with them and impact Hillis to fall out of bounds. I mean, the ironic thing here is I'm hit initially six to seven inches from being out of bounds. And not only am I able to break out of both of those tackles, I'm able to spin somehow, elude another defender, and fall forward for another yard and a half gain. And that's a cheap yard and a half in a game of inches and a game I care about. I hate to see little subtle things like that happen to impact basically an entire game in certain situations if we're going to talk about maybe a game that comes down to a field goal. So I would like to see your guys' opinions on this. I appreciate you watching this video, and of course I will be back in the week with more.